Oh, sorry. Oh, there it is. Oh! Hey, there's the last press one. Fuck you, you're shit. Nobody likes you. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh, give me that shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it. So, oh my god. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so nice looking. This is so much better than Orion. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, it's finally done. <laughs> All right. Hello, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. So, as you can see by the character on the screen and by the clip that I put in the intro, I finally unlocked the interstellar mastery camo for Modern Warfare 3. So, I actually live streamed the um, last few weapons that I needed to do for the camo unlock yesterday. You can see it on my channel if you go to the past live stream section right below my uh, video uploads on the homepage. page uh, you can see it there so you know what better way to ring in the new year than uh, by uh, getting the mastery camo for multiplayer now i'm gonna start the uh zombies camo grind um probably in the next few days here but for this video i think i want to just you know have a video where i'm actually running around and using the camo i was thinking about uh waiting until i was like close to unlocking the camo and then making a video so i could do it live in the video but i decided to live stream it uh, uh, instead and i think the video where i started doing this was like 12 days ago so it didn't, it didn't take me that long to get interstellar it definitely took me longer to get uh orion but overall i think this grind for me was definitely faster but i'll be perfectly honest there were some parts of this that were annoying but i don't think they were as annoying as getting the long shots last year for platinum i think that part last year definitely inflated my uh, total time for getting the camo you know maybe if, let me inspect the camo here really quick let me find a good spot for this before i die all right i'll be real maybe picking shipment for trying to look at the camo was a bad idea but i'll put a clip on the screen of me looking at a gun in like the firing range or something yeah overall i think this was faster and easier than orion but definitely the uh get kills while affected by tacticals and the kills with one magazine challenges were definitely the most annoying Even getting the uh, bloodthirsties was not as annoying or hard as I thought it was going to be. Which, I mean, I know for some people getting, you know, uh, plus five multi kills is not hard. But for me and for a lot of people, especially, I feel like that's asking a lot of the average player. You know, doing it in hardcore definitely made it go by faster. But you would occasionally just get into the lobbies where you would die for a minute straight. Like Diavolo's death loop from part five. But yeah, speaking of the stream that I did for uh, unlocking this, I can't promise well, I'll get fucked. Um, I can't promise like I'll stream super often just because I don't know. I feel I get like hesitant whenever I even think about streaming. But I think definitely for uh, unlocking the camo, if I'm like really close, I'll probably stream for the few hours it takes me to do it like I did with this one. Oh my god, get fucked. Oh, I missed. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably end up doing that with uh, Borealis and Bioluminescent. I'm still amazed how fast the guns aim down sights in this game. Even with not- oh, there you go. Well, even with not that many uh, ADS attachments. But with that, actually, that allows me to segue into what I actually, what I wanted to do. I did this on stream a little bit, but it was kind of incoherent and uh, long-winded. So maybe I'll be able to do it slightly more succinctly in this video form basically i wanted to look at um like the year of videos and stuff on my channel and before i do that let me actually go to where i started doing the camel grind in w2 because i want to check how long it took me to complete the uh camel grind for that so i started in this video here from 11 months ago what was the exact date for this it was january 4th so almost a year ago exactly and if I go to where did it end? It ended on this video here, which was nine months ago. So there's like a two month difference in uh, the time it took me to do Orion. And obviously that wasn't um, like me playing every day for two months for multiple hours. There was, you know, breaks that it took in between playing it. And there were times where I just wasn't playing Call of Duty. But yeah, March 26th. So that's what January 4th, January, February, March. Yeah, it's about two months. Almost three is yeah, it was almost uh, it was almost the beginning of April when I did this. So yeah, it took around two months for me to do that. And then the difference 
here uh, was what? Where is it? I started the interstellar grind here 11 days ago and this video is going up 12 days later. So yeah, definitely did not take me nearly as long, but really quick. Um, that was, So that was for the camo grind. I just wanted to check just generally my channel for the past year. So there were multiple times on this channel. I can name like two off the top of my head where I took a extended break just because of dealing with stuff outside of this. But, um, you know, there were a few points during my channel where like, especially when NW2 came out and stuff where I was getting like a okay amount of views for my channel, but you know, taking breaks and then, you know, not uploading for a while would like diminish that. And every time I would upload videos, it would usually take a little bit before I started getting more traction on the, the viewership and whatnot. So I, I looked at this on stream and in this video right here, uh, the dark tide video was about a year ago. It's like a few days off, but it's close enough. And then, and the video after that is when I started Orion. And yeah, here's just a ton of Call of Duty videos. And then, what you're not seeing, what I'm not going to show, is the the also the live streams that I did contributing to this uh, stuff. You know, I was playing Call of Duty, Elden Ring, uh, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, and a few other things. But yeah, there were a decent amount of live streams that I did during the year as well. Yeah, but for over a year. But. Uh, Definitely for within the year as well. A majority of the videos that I made were on Modern Warfare 2 and you know, I guess Call of Duty generally because they're just easy to make. But uh, around this point right here, this was 10 months ago. I took like a month long break. And let me see, when did I actually upload this video? It was when season two came out for the game. February 14th. So yeah, it was almost a year ago. As you can see clearly there, it says 10 months ago. So yeah, I came back after a month long break and I started uploading again. And that break that I took kind of like messed me up just in terms of like my confidence and talking in front of a camera and being comfortable with it because you know after doing it for a little bit you get used to it but you know I stopped doing it for so long that when I started doing it again it was difficult for me to uh speak to the void constantly getting in my own head about how awkward and dumb I look while doing this but slowly but surely um I started uploading again and I think I'm pretty sure uploads like from this time forward were a bit infrequent because yeah it goes from 10 months to six months and there's only like seven videos here so you know i was i didn't expect like to get a ton of views like i did relatively before this point but um when i got to here and i i started making videos more consistently again uh, i noticed that i was reaching like 100 plus views on my videos which is very encouraging also i think this is around the time where i started like understanding how to make like decent thumbnails yeah you know, I, I definitely look back at a lot of these and like i don't think like some of these are okay but like a lot of these are really just bad i, I like this one the raids video for nw2 thumbnail I, I do think my thumbnails are pretty similar but i think they're just a lot more refined i guess see i made a few destiny videos i made that risk of rain video which was fun to make those are really long kind of annoying to edit though so and ever since this break i don't i don't think i ever had a video break over a thousand views it was a while i think uh, the last video to break a thousand views before this halo one up here was a dark souls 2 video which is all the way down here over a year ago has a thousand views and i think that was the last time a video ever got a thousand views or more this video almost got a thousand views but it's still stuck there which is kind of annoying really triggering my like ocd but yeah that halo video kind of popped off i was not expecting that honestly i just kind of played the game again Again on a whim and it was a pretty fun time I won't lie I should play that game again and then I made a few Naraka videos those are pretty fun I remember this video I started making a, a few zombies videos every now and again and uh, this video kind of did decently well more call of duty stuff yeah i think at this point i was playing modern warfare 2 to just make videos because i think i already had the yeah i had already gotten the orion camo for it so whenever i needed to make a video i would just hop on there and talk shit for 10-15 minutes this video that i made a while ago the uh seamless co-op with my brother was uh it was kind of annoying because i always had to like spam the replay buffer uh record button and sometimes it wouldn't record all the way back to where i wanted to but i think this is a pretty funny video i won't lie i also i really like the intro that i made uh, and then all the mw3 stuff started getting like leaked and revealed and whatnot and then yeah this was like another period where besides a few outliers uh a video very few videos like broke over like 100 views and whatnot and then around the time that armor core 6 came out my video started like getting a decent amount of views again and then when Titanfall 2 got fixed a few months ago uh the videos that I made on that did really well um especially this uh top 10 Titanfall 3 wishlist video I guess it just goes to show all people really like lists <laughs> on YouTube and this random Devil May Cry video where I was talking about the anime and I was playing DMC3 
Uh, yeah, this video almost has a thousand views. It doesn't, it didn't quite get there, but I'm surprised this video did as well as it did in the first place. And then when I got to this point, this was uh, a Lords of the Fallen video. The game had just been out for a little bit, but yeah, after this video, I took like another break because we were moving. And then after we moved, I started making videos again. And I think these have been relatively consistent, but yeah, after we moved the uh, MW3 campaign, uh, launched in early access. And, uh, that's when I started uploading. Uh, consistently again on the channel and look, looking back back at this section right here I just want to mention this lethal company video. It also has like mw3 stuff in there It was it's just a highlights video of random stuff that I was playing but the uh, Intro to this video if you haven't seen this go watch it. This is one of my like just favorite clips that I've had on my channel That's so that game is hilarious. It's stupid, but you know what? Why don't I just click on it right now? turn off the face cam really quick. I forgot pressing buttons on YouTube makes it do that. It's annoying. Anyways, this is the video. <laughs> this intro is so stupid. I love it. I've rewatched this shit so many times. This game is so dumb. Oh, okay, bro. Nah, man, that's a dog. Where you guys at? Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my... I'm gonna grab his body and we're gonna... I'm gonna go. The freaking... Oh, my God. The, the turret just launches his body from off screen. It's so... It's so good. It's so stupid. Yeah, th that was a really good uh, moment that I'm glad I captured in that video. Um, And then the... I guess the next really big thing that I didn't expect to pop off, but it kind of did, was the uh, Terraria video that I made. I wonder if... It's popular because it was a terror video or whether because I put the stupid meme in the thumbnail. Also, let me turn this back on. But uh, yeah, I actually restarted uh, my world because I didn't realize um, I wasn't playing on expert mode, which means there weren't items I was getting. But yeah, I restarted a world. I, I should make a video on a terraria again at some point. But yeah, and then the most recent thing I started doing was the uh, camel grind for Modern Warfare 3. And then there was this Tekken video that kind of popped off. So that was cool. I think overall from the beginning of the year with that Dark Tide video, it was what 110 videos, not including the stream. And actually, let me look at the streams. Let me see if I can find a year ago exactly. Oh yeah, it was this. It was this uh, stream right here. I was playing the uh, convergence mod for DS3. I forgot I streamed on New Year's. It's actually funny. 80. 84 so about 84 streams 80 to 84 i don't know if i miscounted them or not but there were almost as many uh streams as there were videos which is surprising but yeah in that time i managed to gain a few hundred subscribers so that was neat i definitely hope uh i have a year that's just as good if not way better in terms of the channel so uh, if you are new here and you do enjoy what you see on the channel then consider subscribing i try to upload as often as i can i can't always guarantee that you know, I'm able to upload every day or stream or whatever, but you know, I, I try my best with the time that I have. So yeah, any comments, likes, you know, stuff like that is always appreciated. But uh, yeah, I guess there's my uh, year in review plus me getting the uh, interstellar camo. So uh, next up is I'm going to start doing the, uh, what is it called? Borealis camo grind in zombies, which will hopefully be a lot more relaxing and chill although might be slightly annoying because i can't just use weapons whenever i want we'll have to see but with all that said and done i think i'm gonna leave the video there just once again thank you for all the support shown in 2023 and i hope you continue to follow me into 2024 so uh just once again thank you anyways later